Well, hey, Life Groups, good to be with you again um, this evening. And uh, we're doing things slightly differently this time that you meet in that um, we're not going to focus primarily on uh, what we heard on Sunday, but actually we're going to spend some time just talking about um, 2021 and who we are as a church and where God's got us. And uh, we had a prayer meeting on Monday evening and uh, I'm recording Tuesday morning in preparation for Life Group's meeting this week. And uh, really what we're going to do is we're going to reflect on something of what came out of our time together as we all prayed together. Uh, many of you were there. We had a, a place um, spaced and yet packed with people. Um, and we were just uh, trusting God and, and really uh, leaning into His presence and uh, trusting Him to, to lead us and to guide us. And what a rich time we had. Those that were there, um, most of our life group leaders were there. And it was just an amazing time of really just experiencing God guiding and leading and, and loving us as a community. And so um, whenever we do call prayer meetings, we just want to encourage you to, to not miss out. It's a low pressure moment. We don't put people on the spot and force people to pray. But you never leave a prayer meeting without feeling a deeper sense of uh, conviction, courage, joy in God. And so, um, yeah, thanks to those who joined us. And really what I want to do today um, as I speak is to uh, just remind us of something of what came out of that time and speak into 2021 so that uh, you and your life groups can have a sense of what are we going to be resting for? What are we excited for? Um, one of the things we love in Common Ground Church Bloberg is not just getting rest from a hectic year, but also actually getting rest for. Because sometimes it's that naive notion that I must just you know, lie on the couch and binge my way through Netflix because what a hectic year I've had. And that would work if we didn't have to get off the couch and live another year and another one and another one. But actually, we're called to, to live the kind of life that we want to live in, that we don't want to escape from. I'll share a quote in a little bit around uh, that, that idea of what it means to live the kind of life you don't want to escape from. And uh, many of us have wished we could escape from 2020. But um, in so many ways, 2020 has been God creating a life and a lifestyle that hopefully we don't want to escape from. And uh, really, the life that God has for us uh, as Common Ground Church and for you as individuals really has three markers that we will keep reminding ourselves of. The marker of presence, to be with Jesus. The marker of formation, to become like Jesus. And the marker of mission, to love the world the way Jesus loves the world. And that really is the primary reason we exist as a church and you exist as a person, to be with God, to become like Him, and to love the world the way He loves the world. That's what Jesus calls us to do. And I hope that that privilege and that those three things are becoming more and more a part of your life as you enjoy and live in the story of Common Ground Church community. And our prayer time was really marked by going through those three uh, aspects. And so I'm just going to talk through them and then uh, we'll move into some conversation. So firstly, we just looked at presence, to be with Jesus. Remember those invitations Jesus makes to his disciples. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened. He invites us in. Come be in my presence. Or to his disciples in Mark chapter 1, where he says, come uh, to me, follow me, and I'll make you fishers of men. Jesus calls us to himself. There's so much of uh, the Old and the New Testament symbolism that speaks of the fact that the temple curtain has been torn. We are given access into the very presence of God. There is nothing separating us and God anymore because of Jesus. And we are a people who were made to live with God. And we're trusting that as a community, as a group of individuals that make up Common Ground Church family, that we'll be the kinds of people who are able not only to uh, know God as present, but to experience God's presence, to be present to God. It's one thing uh, knowing God is present to us. It's another thing that we are actually present to Him. The scriptures are clear. He has made Himself present to us. But it's also clear that we might not always be present to Him aware of his kingdom, aware of him at work, aware of his love. And the speed of our lives, like that jet ski analogy, means that sometimes we skim across the surface and forget that we are with him and he is with us. And so 2021, we're trusting, will be a year marked by his presence. Some of the prayers that emerged on Monday night were prayers about the power of God. Jesus telling his disciples, wait in Jerusalem 
and you will receive power. You'll be clothed with power from on high. It's this gift of the Holy Spirit. The word power actually is the word dunamis, that we get the word dynamite. You'll be given dynamite inside of you, inside of your hearts. You will be exploding with a fresh sense of God's presence, his love, his power to do what he's called us to do, to enjoy his presence, to live out uh, the mission and to be formed into his image. Hey, we're trusting God that 2021 is a dunamis year of knowing his presence and being present to him. Hey, that's the first one, presence. The second one is formation. Formation is about becoming like Jesus. One of the major things that emerged as we were praying for 2021 was that actually God wants to shape our identity, how we understand ourselves. How we understand who we are and, 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 and how God views us. And a beautiful contribution popped up in that was this uh, thing that we must be willing to be shaped by God. It's one thing to say, we as a church value formation. It's another thing when we're staring temptation right in the face and it looks really good. And it looks really fantastic and it looks so simple to cut the corner. Whether it's a, whatever, you, you take your pick. Are we willing to let Jesus shape us, form us, not cut corners, not say yes to gossip or slander or anger or hatred or whatever else it may be, but to become a people of love formed by the King under his leadership, letting him teach us how to live, not us asking him to come join us wherever we go, good or bad. No, teach us Jesus, shape our characters and make us a people of love. By the way, formation and becoming like Jesus is to become a people of joy. Really, if you're not becoming a person of joy and you're sort of saying, look, I'm fighting temptation and I'm becoming more and more grumpy. Hey, that's not the life that God has planned for you. He wants you, us as followers of Jesus to be the happiest people on the planet because we have the least to worry about because the king of heaven and earth is taking care of all the stuff that matters most. We should be the lightest. We should be the most joyful because we've got the one who is the strongest and the most loving. Uh, Dr. Caroline Leaf, she writes this beautiful thing. She says, true self-care, truly becoming more like Jesus is not chocolate cake and spa days, or maybe for others, it's not uh, uh, surfs or Netflix or booze or whatever your escape of choice might be. No, no, it's, it's none of those. It's making choices each day that create a life that you don't need to escape from. Hey, that's what God calls us to, is to be present with him, to become the kind of people we don't need to escape from. It's about building a life of emotional health. I'm trusting God that 2021 is going to be a year where we are growing in emotional, relational health such that we don't need to escape from the lives we're living. But actually, we're loving to engage with that life. So we're going to give a few exercises. Yes, December has got homework. Seriously, if you're part of Common Ground Church Bloberg, we're giving you homework. And we're going to send out a few documents, particularly one uh, that's going to explain something called a trellis for life or a rule of life, which simply is a way of saying, what is it that we are going to do in 2021 that is going to set the course of our lives towards a delightful, joyful life in Jesus? What are some of the practices, habits, things that we're going to put into our daily, weekly, and monthly rhythms that are going to set the course for who we're becoming so that we can look back on our year and our decade ahead and say, I chose a life of joy in God, and, and I did that intentionally, and I didn't create a life I needed to escape from every however long. So there's presence, there's formation becoming like Jesus. And then finally, there's mission, which is about loving the world the way Jesus loves the world. And we had an overwhelming sense in our time of prayer that the fields are white for harvest, that God has called us to love the, the world, to love people, our friends, our family, our colleagues, that actually this time of COVID has been an incredibly tricky time, as we all know. And some hearts have become hardened, but that there's the sense that actually this is opportunity, that as hearts have hardened and people have experienced hurt and pain and loss and financial trouble, that this is going to be opportunity for the gospel. That as Jesus said, the fields are white for harvest, that there is opportunity into the cracks and the crevices of hurt and pain and loss, that God could fill people's lives with his love, 
and his mercy and his tenderness. Hey, we're trusting God that 2021 will be a year where he uses ordinary people just like us. And one thing that emerged in the, our prayer time was that it was we felt like there is nothing quite as powerful as the gathered efforts. We, we're an ugly bunch of, of individuals, but together we're called the bride of Christ, a radiant, beautiful bride. How precious is that picture that individually, yeah, we've got our issues, but together as we love each other well, as we learn to um, submit to Jesus together and, and be the people of God together, we can bear a beautiful witness. Jesus said, it's by your love for each other that all people will know that you're my disciples. And we're not trying to point people towards ourselves. We're trying to say, we're his disciples and following him is the light burden. It's the easy yoke and we want that for all people. Hey, we're trusting God for a great harvest, for an amazing mission. And we did pray for God's provision. I uh, really would encourage your, you to chat to your life group leaders, but just to uh, uh, put you in the picture, we trusted God for some uh, financial provision in 2021. And uh, we've already seen since my last video around um, financial provision, we've already seen an amazing sense of uh, our community responding to God. And uh, we just want to say uh, thank you, Lord. Thank you to people but we're not groveling, kind of hoping that God will provide. We are confidently trusting that he's going to continue to move us as a people. We see 2021 not just as a year of survival, but a year of blessing our community. This is not about trying to pay a staff member or two. This is about trying to be a blessing to our community because the mission is huge. And what God has called us to do is glorious. And so much of that starts in our own hearts as we keep growing as a generous uh, and, and uh, just uh, kind people who, who understand the magnitude of the mission. And so there's so many more details. We've seen fantastic response. We're trusting for ongoing generosity and not to our church, but to the mission of God for the purposes and the glory of God. You're, you're going to head into a time of discussion now and a couple of questions that we've sent to your life group leaders are as follows. Uh, what stood out for you as you were listening? Remember, there was presence, formation, mission, presence, being with Jesus, formation, becoming like him, and, uh, and mission, loving the world like Jesus loves the world. You'll hear that so much more. So get used to it. Try and memorize it because uh, we as a church are going to keep saying that. That's never going to change. How we do things, we'll tweak um, and exact details, but we'll never stop being a people of presence, formation, mission. What, what stood out to you? Hey, and then uh, secondly, of those three things, presence, formation, and mission, uh, which in your opinion is a priority for 2021? Then thirdly, what's your prayer and your hope for common ground in 2021? Uh, share some of those. And then finally, what's your prayer for you personally as you head into 2021? And how can we as a group be standing with you as you pray that, that one big faith prayer that you're trusting God for? Have some fantastic discussion. So much love to you. And uh, look forward to hearing how your conversations went.